In 2016, we bought a boat we aptly called Mood Swings, primarily as a platform to film our online fishing courses and the travel to remote fishing destinations. Our latest journey heading south was plagued by mechanical issues, but not to be deterred, we decided to head north after the repairs and put up with the challenges associated with monsoonal weather. Oh. Hi, I'm Ryan Moody, this is my wife Karen, our two sea dogs, my mate Maxie, and our fishing weapon from the blue boat. Join us on our northern adventure as we have a few dramas, see some amazing locations and catch some great fish. Heading north to Lizard Island and beyond. So guys, before we depart Cooktown, uh, I'll just do a number of service checks, like we do most mornings, uh, especially if we've steamed or done eight hours or something like that in the, in the previous day. Uh, just do all the fluids. I've been upstairs and checked all the coolant. Uh, they feed from upstairs. I've uh, checked the oil in the engines, oil level in both engines. Uh, look for leaks. That's another thing I do is look for any leaks, new leaks, or any potential hazards that might be gonna get in your way one day. Just check the, the pumps, uh, both the deck wash pump, the uh, refrigeration, raw water intake pump, which also feeds the air conditioner and the desal as well, actually. Yeah, got all that organized. It's uh, still in very good condition, that pump. So um, we do have a spare as well. Uh, the feed pump for the desal, done that. Changed the filters out and the desal. Uh, the membranes were done before the trip, so they'll be good for quite some time yet. Uh, so yeah, basically it's just a general check. Um, keep an eye on things. Look for any leaks in your exhausts and all that sort of thing, and uh, oh, also we've got dripless glands, uh, bearings, they um, they also need check, checking, make sure they haven't tightened up or done anything silly, or gotten too loose, and they still have water flowing through them. So um, yeah, that's basically it really. Ship shape, ready to go, I think we're in good hands, and uh, fingers crossed, we're gonna be all good. arrived at Lookout Point. Uh, this is where we're going to spend the night. Normally we uh, use the bay there for the shelter from the northwest, but we weren't sure what we were getting. If, the, if it was going to be southeast, it means that circulation in the Coral Sea is developing further north. If it was going to be northwest, it was going to be further down off Townsville. The forecasters are all don't know which way it's going to go yet, but anyway, it's not detrimental to us up here. It's going to move away from the coast and we're going to get some lovely weather after it. So this is um, well known, uh, part of our history. This is where Captain Cook climbed up. It's what's called Lookout Point before he went to Lizard Island. And I uh, just ran across a good fishing spot actually. So we might come back here later on and have a look. But uh, there's plenty of fishing nearby this area. There are some green zones. Around this corner is a green zone. Um, and it is a little bit shallow, but we're gonna poke our nose in there and see if we can get a little bit of protection. Just in case the southeaster picks up during the night with those storms approaching the coast. So well, let's head around the corner and have a look. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad we're staying here. This is one of my favorite beaches. We normally stay around the other side. The sand is so white and so soft, it's like talcum powder. So it'll be nice to explore this side, although it looks a bit rocky, I think. It'll be nice to go around the other side. But, um, yeah, can't wait to go ashore. Just trying to prime the deck hose quickly and give it a run because it's it's not working. Oh. <laughs> Could be something stuck in the one-way valve where the uh, seacock is. I don't know. 
had this happen before where it's lost suction after we've been going along. There it is there. Okay. Let's just get a bit more in and then I'll hit the button and get you to drop it on the floor at the same time. Yeah, it might work, mate, yeah. Give that a go there now. Pressurize. Okay, now I'll just get this in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now Come on. Come on. You can do it. Pick it up. Pick Sorry. it up. Pick it up, little fella. It's uh, not be able to prime it from there. It's obviously fallen back through. Anyway. Wait till the engine cools down, eh? Yes, what I mean, yeah. Oh, it's bad enough out here. <laughs> it's all right, we've got a bucket with a rope on it that'll do us for now. We'll get it sorted. Job for tonight. Yeah. It's always a job for tonight. Well, sometimes it starts working. It's about yeah. the third time it's, it's done this. It's just stopped pumping. It's had an airlock in it somehow. And it's usually after we start going along. Mm. And of course, that's what we did this morning. It was worked perfectly fine yesterday. Mm. Woo, man. I'm sweating my ring out. <laughs> He's had me have this slave on the deck. He wouldn't let me in the air con. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the pump going. <laughs> yeah, we'll sort that out. Yeah, I've had it happen before, it just stops sucking. Minor thing, we've got, we got buckets if we can't get it in there. Yeah. Maybe a bit of seaweed or something up yeah. there. That's not a deal breaker, send you home. No, no, no. no. God, no. Uh, we'll wait and hopefully we don't get any of those. I'll we'll try finding it again later. And... Well, we could go down the engine bay now and have a look, but. Uh, no. It'd only be about another 40 degrees hotter in there, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah she's easily up around 85 in there at the moment, I'd say. <laughs> if we're going to go down there, we need to pull the floor up and open the hatch up so we get the air con in. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It is stinking hot out there. It is insanely hot. We're paying the price for the first bit of really good weather after all that rain. Um, that's what it does, just brings the humidity out and, it's, and the sun is just really hot. Must be a bit of a heat wave coming. But uh, yeah, good anchorage here now. So we're going to head out and do a bit of fishing when it cools down. It's just way too hot at the moment. We're not going to do it. We only usually fish a couple of hours a day anyway. Um, best bugger couple the hours. tides. Yeah, well, bugger the tides today. It'll be governed by the sun. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You better get something though this afternoon because I haven't taken anything out. We'll dinner. get a couple of finger marks. For sure, guaranteed. Guaranteed, there we go. The challenge has been set. Challenge is on, Maxie. Catch it, here we go. Nine yeah. We'll get some anyway. No, I don't want to be eating dinner at 10 o'clock at night. Are you going to have a sausage roll? No. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Just give me 20 minutes, a bit later this half, and we'll get a couple of finger marks. Hi guys, did you know that we have comprehensive fishing courses and free fishing training over on our website, Ryan Moody Fishing? I've been a fishing guide for over 30 years, catching thousands of trophy fish for clients. And I include all the tricks and tips in my fishing courses. So if you'd like to have me mentor you and join thousands of happy students catching better fish faster with our Fish Smarter fishing courses, be sure to head over to the website after the video. Tight lines. Rod's ready, starting to cool down a little bit. So I'm just setting up with our uh, pillager lures, our sinking stick baits. Uh, I've gone the, the green, the old, this is the 26 grams. We like to use these in under 20 meters of water. Although I've used them as deep as 28 meters. But we do have our 40s. They're actually, this one here. I've only got a couple left. These are the prototypes of the 40 gram. Uh, one so great flutter on these as well. We probably won't have them in the shop for a while. So uh, just wait for the sun to die down a little bit more and we're out of here. Alright, sun's dropped down a little bit, it's a little bit cooler now. It's better than fishing in an oven, so we're gonna head out now for an hour or so while Karen stretches her legs on the beach with the dogs. Go see if we can catch a few finger mark, maybe a coral trout. Trevallies, who knows what's on these spots, but there's quite a bit of it out the front here, so we're going to have a look. I am going to go for a beautiful walk on one of my favourite beaches. The pristine white sand here is so soft underfoot, it's amazing. The girls are coming with me, the boys are going fishing, and they will have to swim ashore. So, won't be a problem for rocks. Can have to swim ashore? 
Off you go. Bye. Oh, look at him go! Those dogs look like bloody Popeye mullet skipping along, if you ask me. <laughs> you get the calf set out if we can't get any bait. <laughs> Lucky we don't use bait. All right, let's go for a fish. School of fish sitting in that little groove there. Maybe small finger mark. Actually, okay. Righto, first fish. Oh, might be a finger mark. Kind of feels like it. Come on. Oh, back you come. He's a good fish. <laughs> oh, shit. You're on? I am on. Okay. <laughs> That's how we like it, Maxie. Double headers. This is a finger mark, it's bigger than the ones we caught here last time we came through this region. Oh my god! Maxie's going all around the boat. Could be some GTs in amongst these, but this just felt like a finger mark. Oh yeah, nice little finger mark, I think. Look at that, nice fish on the pillager. Great finger mark. Perfect size, not too massive and not too small. Gee, you gave it to me. Great fish. There it comes. See some colour down there. Oh, come on, mate. Give it up. Giving it to you, mate. What do you got? Oh, nice. Great fish. Look at that. <laughs> Two fingers on the pillages. Double hook up straight away. Couple of great fish, mate. Rippers. Not a bad start. Absolute ripper. They're a little bit bigger than the ones last year. Double header. Nice finger mark on the pillages. Doesn't get any better. Karen said she wanted finger mark, so finger mark it is. Well, I told Karen it'd be finger mark on dinner tonight, and we didn't have nothing to worry about. First drop, double hook up. <laughs> Not yeah. too bad, eh? That was pretty insane. Yeah, <laughs> these lures are unreal for these things. Well, unreal for everything. In fact, I had that box of lures stolen in Cooktown, and some of them were scattered in the trees in the park, and the guy from the pontoon said to me, uh, who owned it, he said, I found these lures hanging in the tree and had your name written on the top of it. And I took it out this morning and he got 12 species of fish before he lost it. <laughs> he said, where can I get them from? <laughs> awesome lures, awesome fish. If you haven't got them, get onto them. That's it. Hi guys, Ryan here. I'm stoked you're here on our YouTube channel and really hope you're enjoying the video. We'd love to hear from our viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe and comment, it really helps the channel gain visibility and it helps us reach more people, which we really appreciate. Righto, let's get back to the video. I'm just gonna, we're not changing spots, I'm just moving around a little tiny bit, just to reassess the, uh, the school in the area here. Oh, oh no, <laughs> it's got smashed, bitten off, uh, I think. That might've been a mackerel, yep. <laughs> there you go. Can't leave your guard down too long around here. Yep. Another Mackie. I was trolling it while that boat school was underneath us. <laughs> Big mistake. Thanks, bud. Oh, there we go. Under that boat school there. I'll just turn around. A few nice fish there on the sounder. Coming through one after the other. Oh. And I'm on straight away. <laughs> Didn't even get to the bottom. Didn't even get to the bottom. Oh yeah, nice fish. Taking some line, this one. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I think this might be a GT. Or a mackerel, a little mackerel. I think last time I came here too, we had a, had a hard time trying to get the, uh, the lures to the bottom as well. Look at the bait on the surface out there. Yeah. Nothing like a pillager. These lures are amazing. Oh yeah, what do we got? We've got a black king or something. Spaniard. Really? Yeah, nice little Spaniard. Oh 
he's a reasonable size. Wanna, he's not a baby. You want a hand to get it? Or? Uh, it's all right, mate. I might just take the hooks out in the water and we'll let him go. We don't need this much fish. Yep. I'll get him down the back. I won't take him out of the water because that can damage them a bit. Oh, look at that. Hooks just fell out right there. Oh, he scuffed me up a bit too. I better fix that up. Well, that worked re really well for me because I was going to let that Spaniard go anyway because we don't need that much fish. Two finger mark is sufficient, so we'll just have a bit of fun for a bit longer and call it a day. Well, <laughs> call it a call it a half hour or 20 minutes <laughs> or something. <laughs> Once you understand fishing spots and species of fish, you don't have to go out all day to catch them. Rarely do we fish longer than two hours these days, especially with the heat the way it is. So I've just fixed up my leader, had a few scuff marks on it from that Spaniard. That's what's chopping up these herring. Big schools of herring here on the surface. Right, lures back down, still a few on the sounder. I might move around a little bit, but the Spaniard kept us busy for a little bit, going all around the boat. About eight or nine kilos, nice little fish. Yeah, Maxie's on again. Maxie with a nice little finger mark. Snuck that one under our nose. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few small ones last time I was here as well. It's good to see those big fish though. Come on, mate. Oh, I just love catching these. They're just a fantastic bite. Um, Great eating and yeah, they're just a beautiful fish to look at. You look at those colours that come off them. They really are just gorgeous. So we've got a couple for a fee. We're gonna send this fella back yeah, to mate, grow we'll, bigger. We'll send him back, yeah. Sounds good. Alright, stop. That was easy. Get a bit of life in him. Nice. Good fish, mate. There's plenty down there, isn't there? Yeah. I'm not They're too well at the moment. After, since we caught those first couple, they've gone off to bite a little bit. All right, a few nice fish there, a few finger mark, a Spaniard. After I caught the mackerel, they quietened off a bit, eh? Yeah. There's still quite a lot of fish there. Maybe a shark moved in, but we have got a big storm approaching. So we're going to pick up Karen and head back to the boat, fill it up some nice fresh finger mark and um, chow down. It's a good session. We've started off where we left off. <laughs> <laughs> good quick sessions, that's what we're all about. Right, right, let's go and get the girls and head back. Grace might swim. Come on, Baba. What a delightful way to spend the afternoon. We chased balls. That sand is so nice to walk on. It is just soft and white and lovely. It's just a pity about all the rubbish. There's so much rubbish washed up here. There's a tree over there that's covered in rubbish. But then a little bit further on, there is a rock so covered with oysters. Total oyster city. I don't eat oysters, but Maxie does. She could survive here on those little crabs and the oysters. It's just so full of life. What's that off the finger mark though? <laughs> How did you go? Oh, I got a double header straight up and and a Spaniard and another couple of smaller fish. They sort of went off the chew a bit after that. But um, you got dinner, that's the main thing. I've heard that storm rumbling. Yeah, no, it's getting closer. We're going back now. Is it coming this way? Uh, very slowly, but it's probably going to just hit the edge of us. It is rumbling. But that was a wonderful way to spend the afternoon. I love that. It's yep. great. So we're going to have fresh finger mark, fresh Moroccan finger mark, with beautiful fresh salad and red wine vinegar and a little bit of lemon for dinner. Sounds good to me. Production line. All happening. Yeah, we've got the production line happening. All right. They were kicking a couple of hours ago, but uh, a couple of nice finger mark. Dinner tonight, first night, it doesn't get any better than that. We've had a beautiful day's traveling. Uh, we're up here behind uh, Lookout Point. It's one of the places that uh, Captain Cook used many years ago to try and find his way out of the, the, uh, the poop, so to speak. <laughs> um, 
and then he, then he went to Lizard Island and had a look from there, which was a much better look. But uh, tonight, it's we're magic. looking at, yeah, we're looking at a beautiful sunset, beautiful sand dunes, beautiful thunderstorms. Cooking on the back deck, we're just about to eat on the back deck, play some tunes, beautiful relax, finger mark, classy night. And a beautiful bottle of Bundy, what a great year that was. <laughs> We've had a, the boys have had a fish, we've had a walk on the beach, we've travelled up from Cooktown, it's been a magic day. Yeah. Right, let's chuck, let's hook in. I can't wait. Join us in the next episode where we continue on our offshore adventure. In the meantime, for fishing tips, workshops and fish planner tuition, visit our free training page at ryanmoodyfishing.com. There's a link to the gear and tackle we used on this trip below the video. And to follow along here for the rest of the trip, please like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next episode.